I took a photo of that girl just there. It was really nice. Kind of like fleeting moment. I like that. They see you, you take the shot, bang, gone. So <clears throat> you really do need that reach into people's faces or the flags or and you can push all the way back. Okay, so I've got my, uh, sorry about that. We're at the park now. This is where the uh, static protest for the Palestinian thing in the dick was on. There's been police out before, so hopefully it's gonna be a peaceful protest. Just follow the flags and the, uh, the headset. I don't know what they call that. It's uh, the tea the tea towel. Is that rude? <laughs> no disrespect. But uh, we used to have tea towels like that at home. Have a look at the line up here. It's bizarre. <laughs> so I get a good starburst going actually. If I'm going to be um, a photojournalist, there's no. Um, there's no, way, there's no reason why you can't be artistic while you're at it. You know, artistic or not, it's just really here to document what's going on, I guess. And documenting what's going on is the main point. And if you're going to take some good photos while you're at it, you might as well take some good photos. So. G'day, how you going? Tell us why have you come today. Are you covering it or are you here? Yeah, today? I'm just uh, doing it for you, some my channel on YouTube. What's your channel? Uh, Rob Dido. D I T T O. R O B D I D O. D I D O. And you've got yeah. the Olympus OM5. Olympus OM1 one. Mark II Mark with the 14, the 150. the 150. Perfect lens for. <laughs> the action Mark III on the front. Do you oh. want to condemn the chat that went out last week's protest? And oh yeah, I'm of struggling. course, yeah, everyone wants to, yeah, that's bullshit, that's ridiculous. Yeah, but yeah. I'm struggling to get people to condemn it. <laughs> you can, uh, can you support Palestine and condemn it? I, I thought you could, but... Yeah, it's a dicey, dicey area, but that first point was ridiculous, I mean, that's... <laughs> that's the chant that went to uh, the protest. Yeah, I, yeah I saw that, who the and hell? People, I'm uh. struggling to have people condemn it. <laughs> that's bizarre, I mean, that's just, uh, that's a shoo in, yeah. It's, it should be a shoo in, Yeah, right? it's ridiculous, but I no, mean... it's not. What's it, 19 bloody 40? <laughs> well, that, uh, this is, uh, I know, it, it's an easy one to be like, that was a terrible thing to say, but I support Palestine. Easy, right? Yeah, no, well, I yeah, it's, it's, it's a grey, a grey, it's all grey, I guess. I'm going to go in there. Uh, I'm not sure what that guy was talking about, but I just agreed anyway, so. And we're only here to uh, make the news, not report the news. Uh, we're only here to, we're only here to report the news, not make the news. Yeah, there's my best uh, 1970s American accent. That's a bit bizarre. I think he was, what was he saying? Condemn the uh, people chanting last week, Jews or some shit. I don't know. That's why I, I don't really want to get involved with the politics. I'm just here to take photographs, all right? I wish Jerry was here because she would be able to fend, fend him off. Yeah, this is a static one, so usually they're marching. Um, with, with the marching, it's kind of like you get a bit more action. This is just people sitting around. Oh, sorry, that's all right. <laughs> by which Western governments are supporting the crimes of Israel. Okay, I'm just, uh, I'm just you know winging it here. I'm uh, winging it. I don't know what the hell I'm doing, but it's all fun and games. I think I want to concentrate on the people. Let 
uh, maybe signs. Signs always. Uh, you know when you see in um, see it in the news, you see people, you know, with the signs and everything. So it maybe a concentrate on people. I like that. There's two flags there. There's the Aboriginal flag and. Okay, I think the flags. Somehow, yeah, what I was saying, the Aboriginal thing kind of blended in with it. I guess probably because of yesterday and last uh, the vote. So I think maybe I want to try and tell a story. I think that's the whole point. If I was, uh, if my editor, uh, there's a story there. Got all those flags. You see, I'll show you. Yeah, that's a good, some good shots there. I don't like people's heads though, so I'm going to go up. That's the beauty of uh, the beauty of the flippy screen, I guess. We are going to be holding another protest at Town Hall. It's like there. There's a really good shot of Sydney there. You see there, uh, the centre point and the uh, whatever that building. And I want to get this and that together. I don't know how I'm going to do that. I mean, flippy screen. I'll need someone to walk past to get the flippy screen. Oh yeah, here we go. I can do it. I just need someone to walk past. So there. I'll get down low. So much better here with the light. The guy's got a camcorder. <laughs> People approaching. Yeah. I'll get their faces and their expressions as they come in, as they uh, arrive. Yeah. They, there's. As people arrive, so that's a good shot. I like that. I don't know what the hell they're doing, but uh, welcome to the selfie generation. I think people's faces and expressions are probably a, a better, and including uh, Australians too. I should include. Um, Australians as well. So. Maria, Maria, Maria. Maria. Shot that one. Yeah, include um, every race, every walk of life here. Even the old diggers, are probably you know, not just the uh, Palestinian and the Israeli people. And it's a broad spectrum of who attended. That's another bullet point that my editor asked me to cover. So, I'll tell you what, I, I will be asking for that pay rise. <laughs> okay, and then legal observer, that's a good one. I'll take a photo there. Uh, legal, I like that one, yeah. That's a good one. With the lady, just with the hijab, just pushed over to the little bit to the left. And you've got the whole legal thing there. The reason I bought my 150 is um, you can really get in on people from a distance, especially when it's crowded like this. Nah, there's no chance of getting over there. Anyway, I think the real story is out here, not the speaker. What would tell a story of today's rally? I mean, you've got the video part. Geez, that guy looks like a superintendent. Okay, so there's a flag there behind the church or whatever that church is. It's a bit crowded here now. Okay, 
So hopefully I got that shot. And yeah, now it's really this one. I like this one here. You see? I like that. <laughs> you see, you got the Aussie and the Iman there. You got the Aussie and the Arabic guy, and it's just a. That's Australia, see? The home of the lucky. Oh, I want to get his face though, so if I can get his face over here, let's go this way. There's too many people. Okay, that's that Chinese guy who got bashed up. I'll take a photo of him. I don't know what happened, but he was protesting or something, and the cops bashed him up, and they were a bit rough on him, and I think he got compensated, or but he's a well-known, like, he's out every day uh, protesting or something. I hope my editor will be uh, happy. Uh, I'm not sure what to do, where to go now. There's not much else to take photos of. Uh, I'm covering all the bullet points, I guess. It's just flags, people, story, video. It's making the 9 o'clock news. Well, it's not the 9 o'clock news for this. My uh, YouTube channel is not the 9 o'clock news. <laughs> Maybe I'll get Pamela Stevenson to co-host. Not the 9 o'clock news. If anyone remembers that TV show. That's showing my age. <laughs>